in my previous video, I explained how to draw the graph of y is equal to x plus 2. So moving on uh, to graphing linear equations. This is the second equation, y is equal to negative x plus 3. So as I did in the last video, I'm going to do this in two different ways. One is the easy way, and the other I call the smarter way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a table of x, y, y is of course, y is related to x by this equation, which is minus x plus 3. Okay, and here I'm going to write the coordinates. The coordinates, okay. In coordinates, you always write the x value first, and then you write the y value. So let us let me start at say zero. When x is zero, I think you can do this without um, me writing the steps. So y is y is related to x by this relationship minus x plus zero. So let me write. So this is say minus zero plus three. Uh, minus 0 plus 3 is 3. That means when x is 0, y is 3. So the coordinate you write like this, 0 comma 3. So let me take 1. Okay, When x is 1, it's negative 1 plus 3. Negative 1 plus 3, if you don't know, you can use a calculator. That That's 2. That means when x is 1, y is 2. So now let me take, uh, say, 3. Okay, If I take negative 3, sorry, 3, this is negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. And now let me take, say, 6. If I take 6, this is negative 6 plus 3, which is negative 3. So let us write the coordinates. So this is when x is 3, y is 0, and when x is 3, 6, y is negative 3. So what I want to explain here, you can take any values of x. So for any value of x, there will be a corresponding value for y. And that's how you write the x and y's. So let's plot these points. So when you're plotting the point, you're looking at the x-coordinate. So always starting at this point. Okay. So this is your origin. Okay. So you're going 0 across and 3 up. That means you're not going to the right or left, so this is 0 across and 3 up. So this is your first point. So we have plotted this point. 1, 2. So this is 1. You're going to 1 across and 2 up. So this is 1, 2. The next point is 3, 0. So this is this point. You have to go 3 across and 0 up or down. So this is 3, 0. When x is 6, y is negative 3. So this is negative 6, negative 3. So let me write the points, which is very important. So this point, we call this is 0, 3. 0, 3. So 0, 3. This point is 1, 2. This is 1, 2. This is 3, 0. And this is 6, negative 3. So let us join the points. And if you use a ruler, I'm using a line tool. So let me use a ruler. This is a line tool. So I'm using the line tool. So this is the, when you join these points, you get the straight line joining these points. So the equation of this line is, if you want to write the equation of this line, is y is negative x plus 3. Okay, I now I want you to look at the two things, which is very important when you're graphing uh, straight lines. This is the first point. This is this point is called the y-intercept. This is the y-intercept. And now the next thing that I want you to see is the gradient. Now gradient is rise over run. Okay, so so what's rise? So yeah, this is the rise. This is the rise and this is the run. Okay, so the ra the the rise is negative one because you're going down and your run is one. So the ratio is if you take the ratio of rise over run, that's negative one over one, which is one. 
So if you join these two points, your rise, this is your rise, this is your rise, you're going down and you're going across. So your rise is negative 2 and your run is all run is 2. So we'll uh, see that later on. So now if you join these two points, this is your rise and this is your run. This is your rise and this is your run. So from 0, you're running to negative 3. So this is your rise of negative 3 and you're running 3. So let me write the gradient. Now, what's the gradient? The gradient is rise over run. So when you're joining these two points, the first two points, your gradient is negative 1 over 1. When you're joining these two, the next two points, this is negative 2 over 2. And when you're joining the next two, two points, that is negative 3 over 3. So I hope you know this is all, they all are equal. And that is equal to negative 1. Okay, or negative 1 over 1. So now if you look at the equation properly, closely, you can see this, this equation can be written as y is equal to negative 1 over 1x plus 3. Okay, where 3 is your y-intercept. Can you see the y, the y-intercept is negative 3. Now let me draw, let, let me delete this whole thing and what, how can we do this smartly? Okay, so we only know the equation and we don't want to draw this table. Okay, so let me delete this and we'll go backwards. So let me write the equation y is equal to y is equal to negative x plus 3. Now I just want to be smart and I want to draw the graph without drawing the table. So I first look at the y-intercept. So this tells me this is the y-intercept. So two things I have to see to draw this graph. First the y-intercept. So let me plot the y-intercept. So this is 3, the y-intercept. And the next thing that I have to look is, is a number that is with x. This is the number without x, which is your y-intercept. And there's a number with x, which is negative 1 over 1. That means from negative 3, from, sorry, from plus 3, you have to go 1 down and 1 across. So you go 1 down, so this is 1 down and 1 across. So this is the next point that you get. So if you go 2 down, if you go 2 down, if you go, this is your 2, if you go 2 down, to maintain the same ratio, you have to go 2 across. You have to go 2 across. So this is the next point. Now if you go 3 down, 1, 2, 3 down. So this is 3 down. This is 3 down. You have to go 3 across. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So let me go 4 down. What happens if you go 4 down? Go 1, 2, 3, 4 down. How much across you have to go? If you go to 4 down, you have to go 4 across. 1, 2, 3, 4. And lo and behold, all these points will be on the straight line. So let us use a line tool. Oops. This is a line tool. Let me use a blue color. Can you see these points are all on the straight line? So let me drag this a little. And... So I didn't draw the across, so this is 4 across. So this is 4 down, minus 4 down. Minus means you're going 4 down and 4 across. This is you're going 3 down and 3 across and so on. And so this line is nothing but y is equal to negative x plus 3. 